welcome back guys to another youtube video it's your boy sam and today we're gonna be reviewing this project right here i found it on code pen and i was like nah this is crazy i need to share this with you guys so you know what this is just a simple voyage slider but what's really cool about this project is that i love the way when you hover on it the way it moves the feel it feels really real and also when you click on the button i hope you're noticing that this picture right here also switches to the background and the background has changed to the same picture that is in front of us and we click here again and you see it switches so this really gives it a nice real feel and this is something nice to have in your portfolio it's a great project that if you want comment down below if you want us to actually build this project from scratch i'll be willing to do that for sure but and i was like you know what let me just make a short video and we'll just look at this project and see it and you know the next thing we're gonna actually do is let's check the code itself but yeah it's an amazing project if you're new to the channel subscribe like the vid and you know what comment down below if you want me to do this or if you have any other questions about this project or other things you know what let's check the code out yeah so we can see the code right here we just have a normal div it's called app and then we have card list we have this button left card list button button left and you can also see right here we have arrow left and we for sure we'll have an arrow right and now we have the wrap card wrapper and here this houses an image these are on splash images and yeah we have three images and we have three right here after that we have the right and the arrow right like i said we should have a right and now we have the info right here so we have the highlands scotland mountains are calling then we have this france let me let, my, let your dreams come true adventure is never far away peru and yeah i really like the whole setting of this and then after that you can see app bg so this is the background and you will notice for sure that these pictures right here are the same with the pictures right here so the file names will be the same z8 and here it's also z8 so you can see it's the same pictures and after that we have this loading and after loading now we can also see here that we have an icon display none and we have this arrow left yeah so this svg are this icons right here this arrows right here and yep that's it for the HTML now let's check out the CSS and we can see right here that this project is actually using this it's SCSS and this is a preprocessor if you click right here you can see that it's using a preprocessor CSS preprocessor SCSS and yep we can check here you can see Google fonts it's using this font right here and also using font awesome can see it just says some root value with the normal box sizing margin zero padding zero and then the body you can see give it a width of 100 percent height 100 vh display flex and then the sidekicks which are justify content align item give it a background with a little bit of opacity and also overflow hidden so that means there's some hidden overflows here the button nothing too serious pointer and a focus remove the outline and the border and you can see right here just normal store for the and for the images and now we can see what is giving it this feel right here these are all this offset this translate you can see all this translate first the position is absolute we can see the translate translate x transform 100 ms ease opacity 100 ms ease so these are all the things that are giving it this feel you can see some offset translate y offset when you see stuff like this you know that it has to do with the whole animation and how the website feels especially when the arrow and for sure it's connected to the arrow or it's connected to it being hovered on top so it's either the arrow or the hover effect so when you hover on it then you can see that it actually moves and switches in this really cool and nice way so you add some images and yeah we're not gonna go through everything but this is a really cool project and 
yeah i will be doing this a lot where i'll be reviewing other people's projects and just showing you different cool stuff that you can do with html css and javascript this is the first video that we're doing for that and yep we can see right here let me know in the comments down below we can build this from scratch we have an update card function and this update card function is what's basically gonna update the card like this like it says so when we click on it it actually switches and it updates it we also have in a card event so you see right here pointer move pointer out so for sure we're having some it's listening for some pointer move and some pointer out and that is just the mouse movement so that's why you see when it's hovered on and the way you actually hover on it that's the way it moves so i have a video where i did something similar to this but this was with a, a e-commerce kind of like sneakers um store and basically it had like it was following the mouse so wherever the mouse moved that's where that moved so yeah this is a really nice project i really like it yep that's it for this video hopefully you liked it if you did leave a like subscribe to the channel and yeah i'll be doing more of this reaction to cool projects that i find online and yeah if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below if you want us to actually do a tutorial on this project i could get some time and actually get it done it would take a lot of time because this is a big project you can see how long the javascript is the htm the html is not that long but even the css is quite long so it would be a long video but for sure i could make it happen so let me know in the comments down below i'll leave the code pen of the person who made this project so you can check him out follow him and all that good stuff so you know what that's it from me i'm gonna wrap things up and keep things moving and i'll see you in another youtube video